more that's another thing and then if you're having horrible rhinitis then there is another medication called azelastine it's also nasacort it's also available azelastine um, it's also available over the counter i seldom give that to patients unless it's bad so for you you're not you don't look bad mm. you're not pouring out you didn't use any wipes nothing yeah. all you need to do is take either with cetirizine mm. or right now because you've been on it for a few months switch to over the counter allegra mm -hmm. take clonase over the counter i'll write you the medication for singular what's the next problem mm -hmm. why is your blood pressure still high <laughs> okay so my pharmacist confused me and said, "Well, butrin and busperone was the medication. Well, was the medications that I had on my, you know, list to fill medications? I told him I take Wellbutrin twice a day. He filled the busperone and then told me, no, that you have to take this three times a day for As anxiety. Needed. Yes. No, but I thought he meant the Wellbutrin. So I've been taking that instead." You, you're taking Wellbutrin, right? No, I've been taking the Busperone. That's okay. It's okay. But did you take Wellbutrin? Not today. But have you been taking it? Um, uh, At least once a day. Have you been taking it? Uh, not in a week. Okay. One thing I want to tell you about Wellbutrin. It's a very, very good medication for anxiety and depression mood. Mm -hmm. You can't suddenly stop. Yeah. If you suddenly stop, you'll go into horrible depression. You'll withdraw. You'll be, you'll be in a pretty bad shape. Okay. Whoever has been, majority of my patients, I think in my clinic I've seen three patients who didn't do well. Mm -hmm. Others, almost everybody has done well. Mm -hmm. if for you, if you feel well, butrin is doing well, one tablet itself once a day, just stick to that. You it was good to. when I was taking two. Okay, then stick to that. Yeah. Because you're on the short acting, sustained release. Mm -hmm. So that is a dose to be given 100 milligram twice a day. Yeah. That's why the prescription is 100 milligram twice a day. And that was great then. Just continue that. I'm thinking that we didn't have a refill to for the prescription is why they filled the abuse for instead. No, you have five refills. I do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then maybe they're just I'm going to go ahead. So the abuse bar, remember, well, butrin helps with anxiety, depression, everything. Yes. That alone is enough. Buspirone, we give it as needed. I don't really need that. If you don't need it, you don't take it. That's why it's written 10 milligrams three times a day as needed. Yeah. If you feel, hey, no, despite taking that, I'm feeling anxious, I'm driving, I get really, I throw a rage when I'm driving and I get upset about it, then you take um, a buspirone 10 milligram. If you feel it's too much for you, half it. Mm -hmm. Because we can always give anything from five to even 30, you're mm -hmm. on 10. So that's why it's written as needed. It's not scheduled, but Wellbutrin is twice a day. Yeah. So Which, I think that's what's causing the high blood pressure. Mm, no? Now, in your case, your blood pressure last month was crazy, crazy high. Mm -hmm. Again, when we checked it after we gave you medication because you're too young, you shouldn't yeah. be. Then we brought it down to 138 by 82. Mm -hmm. It's still a little bit high. Mm -hmm. um, well, she spoke marijuana. Um, marijuana does not cause actually as much. Okay. But mm. no medical interactions between them? Because mm. she admitted that she has smoked recently. Marijuana is pretty benign actually. I don't care about marijuana in the sense as much. I mean, it's not like she, she says she, she only does like once, what? Yeah, once a day. You do it once a day? Is it okay, that's more smoke that for, to alleviate your anxiety? Uh, yeah, just to like breathe, calm down. Calm down. That's anxiety. That's anxiety. Stick to Wellbutrin. Mm -hmm. Because to she hasn't Wellbutrin. taken it in a week. She's on, yeah. yeah. Okay. Stick to Wellbutrin. Because I usually don't smoke that much. I just have been the last couple of weeks because I've been so anxious. Have you gained weight? No. I'm losing weight. You're a diabetic too. But you're not um, losing it very fast right now. No. You I'm slowed at like down. I'm 125 and they said that's my good weight. So I'm like, I don't know. Because I was 150, remember? I was bigger. Mm -hmm. so, doctor, so she would have withdrawals from the not taking well butrin, is what you told her, right? She will have withdrawals. Mm -hmm. So she needs to get on that ASAP. She, yeah. I would rather Today. go. But you've taken it for, you're still, you're compensating with marijuana. You're still doing okay with buspirone. So it's mm -hmm. bridging you and it's just taken one week. Mm -hmm. If you don't take soon, 
Mm. And you wait for another one week, you will be crying. Oh, yeah. You will no. be in a pretty bad shape. Yeah, no. We know that, Morgan. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You don't want to be there because when something is helping you, just continue that. Mm-hmm. Why change something that's working? Yeah. Unless it's and causing I problems. I didn't mean to change it, so that's... That's okay, I understand. It wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> they just kept telling Listen. me, you need buspirin. And I was like, no, I want the well-buspirin. So, in one month, your okay. blood pressure was the same last time. Your blood pressure is the same this time. Okay. So, it was high, you said? Yes, it's high. Mm-hmm. For you, it's high. Mm-hmm. For anybody who's 50-year-old, I'm okay with that level. Or 60-year-old, I'm okay. Yeah. You, it's high. I have to put you on a medication. And I'll explain why. Oh. You're a type 1 diabetic. Yeah. When you're a type 1 diabetic, we have to protect that kidney because you're going to pee out your sugar if you don't take your insulin. Mm. I hope you're taking your insulin. I have an automatic yeah. insulin. So, um, any time a person is diabetic, there's a risk of always losing protein in the urine. Always any type of diabetic. Yeah. My goal is to protect that kidney. Now, when your blood pressure is high, imagine if that high pressure is going through those blood vessels, it will damage your kidney even more. Mm. So, I'm going to put you on losartan. Okay. Okay. It's a small dose. Any side effects? Yes. The side effects with that is that it can increase your potassium a little bit, Mm -hmm. which you are aware of. But um, if you develop any muscle cramps because of high potassium or anything, you've got to let me know. This is a good medication that I don't think I've seen anybody with major side effect, not even one, I would say, mm-hmm. but you never know. Second thing, some patients can develop angioedema, anaphylaxis, and everything. It can happen with any medication. But this is a relatively safe medication. Yeah. I can give you amlodipine. I can give you metoprolol, so many. Yeah. I want to give you a medication that has multiple benefits, but at the same time, safe. Yeah. In your case, the priority is you're a diabetic type 1. Mm-hmm. You're already diabetic type 1, so I have to give you medication that has benefit for your diabetes and your kidney and your heart. That's losartan. Okay. You can take lisinopril, you can take losartan, valsartan, onisartan, captopril, and elaprol. This family is good. This family. Okay. okay. So I'm going to give you what is called losartan. It's going to be a very small dose, 25 milligram. Mm-hmm. My goal is not to keep giving you medication. My goal is to get you off of medication. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you time. When I see you next time, mm-hmm. I want you to work on your diet. Watch what you do. No canned vegetables. No canned food. No uh, cured meats. Mm-hmm. Absolutely no cured meats, including we don't know well, bologna, oh, uh, hot dogs, okay. uh, barbecue sauce, steak yeah. seasoning. Preservatives. Nothing. The reason is because for all of these canned vegetables, canned meats, or the bologna and everything, all this, how is it going to be preserved? Is either you need salt, sugar, oil, or uh, acid. So it's lots and lots of salt. But salt itself can mess up your blood pressure. So work on your diet a little bit. How's your sugar? How's Um. your diabetes? Mine, it's been pretty good. And I haven't had any highs or any lows. It's like 128 right now. Who is your uh, endocrinologist? Ashley White. Ashley? Mm-hmm. House? No. Uh, is that her name? Yeah, two Ashleys. Which Ashley is that? Well, I had Ashley Perry before, and now I have Ashley White. Ashley House. Or maybe that's her name. I don't know. <laughs> Ashley House. So, uh, oh. Yeah, my A1C. Did you see that? You know what's crazy? They told me it was a 9. Listen, your blood pressure being high, your A1C being 10.4, that means you're not compliant with your diet. Simple. Your A1C cannot be 10.4. Yeah. Morgan. Yeah, I know that. No, no, no. It is 10.4, but I don't want it to be 10.4. But I'm I'm eating all the three meals a day, and I'm counting my carbs, and I'm putting it in the pump. So that's where we're having an issue. Watch your diet again. Whatever you're eating, you're gaining weight. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Oh my God, that is not good. Yeah, I know. And that's why when she, because when I went in there, I showed her because I pulled up the lab corpse, um, what is it, uh, test results through the app, and it said a nine. And she even agreed that it was a nine. 
And then later on, my husband checked it and said, no, it's a 10.4. Mm -hmm. And I said, but it literally said, and the doctor agreed. No, no, it's there. The previous one was 9.1. And that was on May 31, 24. No, no, I'm saying it was, it showed up on the, because I have the, I, well, I don't have it anymore, but I had the email and it said nine and there was point zero. Mm. That's why I don't understand where the 10.5 came from. Mm, because it's here. Yeah. So I don't know. The report is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> nine is not good for you. <laughs> I know. The difference between nine and 10 is 30 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Because one unit going up is basically 30 milligram of sugar. That means in your case, even one from nine to 10 is quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Watch that. You need to bring that from, irrespective of whether it is 10, mm -hmm. whether it is nine, you need to bring that down to seven. Yeah. Seven and below. Mm -hmm. At this rate, you'll develop horrible neuropathy. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you're eating right now mm -hmm. is not helping you. I understand uh, you don't have insulin, so you're taking insulin. Yeah. Watch what you eat. Half the time, we don't realize what we are eating. Mm -hmm. No juices for you. Yeah, I don't drink Your juice. fruit is only one. And when you take that, check your sugar and give yourself that much. Mm -hmm. Make sure that freaking meter is working. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, I have it. Uh, uh, everything <clears throat> that the pump is going. Because I had a similar incident not too long ago. It wasn't injecting where uh, it was actually leaking, so the patient didn't know it was not injecting, it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Need you to check into that. Mm -hmm. Two bad things in your case that's going right now. One is that your sugar is very high, very high. I think you're amongst my type 1 diabetic, the highest. Doctor, I got one question. What about caffeine? What if she's taking too much caffeine, maybe causing glycogen? In order to well, what do you take those drinks though? I haven't drank those drinks. If you do, in if you month. drink uh, energy drinks, you really need to cut that down. Oh, I don't drink energy drinks. I stopped. I've been only drinking coffee, okay. instant coffee, for about a month now. Because I had. Well, to what about that it. drink that you had in there? What are you talking about? Yeah, that drink you had in the car. That was coffee, instant coffee. That's instant coffee. Yeah. What's in the instant coffee? Um, it's got the. Uh, it's not decaf. No. Is it black? Yeah, it's just regular caffeine. Is it black coffee? Yeah. yeah. You're it's okay. How okay. much sugar was in it? Um, so I put, uh, what is it? Um, sorry. I use coconut sugar because it's only nine milligrams and mm, I only use two good. spoon fills. I switched to that and then I use um, sugar-free, um, what is it, creamer mm. and the pumpkin spice creamer. That's it. Mm. Go back, read the label, mm. write down your calories in that. That's what's causing the problem. Right. It's you will you only when we consume mm -hmm. things go up. If you don't consume it won't go up. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's consume you're consuming, it's coming into your bloodstream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way you, you metabolize consume. it could so be different. What you do is that because like even if I just drink the coffee, it's not enough sugar for me. I have to eat something with it. So I always eat something that's like twenty or forty five grams of carbs to go with it. Watch your diet. Is that I'm not I'm not monitoring your diet. All I'm gonna say is that A1C of nine or even ten mm -hmm. not acceptable. unacceptable. Yeah, I agree. Your kidney will shut down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a hot minute. <laughs> so I know. Not good. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Your dad is here, so I'm not gonna go more lecture. <laughs> You're gonna control your sugar. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get you another A1C. This was done on and like when I, after I saw um, the endocrinologist, she adjusted the pump settings and everything. Did she do? Yeah, she adjusted all my pump settings and she told me my A1C and she was like, this is gonna fix it. It was your pump settings. They weren't giving you enough insulin. Okay, good. So she's, uh, hopefully, I was telling you hopefully needed you'll get your, uh, okay. make sure that's the one thing that I do understand. Um, sometimes when the pump is not working or it's not giving you enough, that will con contribute. Yeah, You're that's what she said. You're type one diabetic, she said, your sugars are too high. We have to get you back to this level. And she said, I'll get you to a 7 A1C, but you have to go this level. And you have that to put in your sugar each time. She have to insulin. So what she's doing right now to control your A1C, she's gone up on your insulin. Mm -hmm. Don't let that happen again and again. Yeah. Because she's already gone up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. you're, you're too young. You're in your 20s. You're super 20s. Mm -hmm this rate you really need to protect your kidney take the losartan control your sugar watch what you eat every single thing literally you've got to count 
yeah. diligently, religiously, make sure that comes down. 10.1, I think, is the highest this whole year I've seen in a type 1 diabetic. Mm -hmm. Type 1. It won't happen in my clinic. It won't happen. I, they'll get literally almost every month I would have called them. Yeah. Control that. If you develop uh, ulcers, any wound, you won't even know. Yeah. You come back and let us know immediately because even if you trim your nails too much, it won't heal. Yeah. If you uh, pick your, on your cuticle, everything. Just watch, make sure the sugar levels come down. You don't develop any wound or infection because you're like a ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. You nick that, all the bugs are coming in, it won't heal. Yeah. Uh, the risk of gangrene, kidney failure, everything. I'm not, they did not do your kidney function test, but uh, where do you get your blood work done? Lab corpse. Lab corpse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, call Usually they print it out and I can just bring it Yeah, in. I didn't see that on the last one either. No, it's not. Or the protein. last time they did it was on June. So I'm going to do your BMP. Mm -hmm. um, insurance will not cover. You've got to wait six weeks from this date. Okay. So BMP, A1C, um, urine, protein. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's good for me. If you can get so this Six much, weeks blood work. Yeah, you have to get your blood work. I'll, who's your lab core? Which lab core? Um, the one over here. I'm just going to go ahead and order so there. that A1C, BMP. Yeah, over there. Are you on vitamin D? Uh, yes, I take it daily. How many? Oh, just one. And it's the 5,000 or the 50,000 or something. Um, did we have your LDL cholesterol checked any time? Tell me why that's important for you. My um, blood pressure. LDL cholesterol. Oh, because oh I ate too much salt. No. It's going to compound. You're a type 1 diabetic. Uh -huh. Anytime a diabetic, sugar converts to fat. Fat deposits in the liver. Fat deposits in all your tissue. Your cholesterol in December, I don't know why that wasn't checked. Um, you're going to do a lot of blood work this time. Mm -hmm. Your cholesterol was 202 at that time. Mm -hmm. Your LDL was 123. That number needs to come down to like 50 to 70. Yeah, like because I wasn't allowed to eat McDonald's for the longest because my cholesterol was through. You're going to get a full lipid really panel. McDonald's anyways. This blood work has to be done fasting. I'm also going to check your thyroid level. Oh, I fast every time. And I I'm going to do your vitamin D because I'm a little concerned now. Yeah. She's Would looking it? at heart attack and everything now. No, no. Uh, Kidneys, liver, yeah. you name it, baby. Well, you as well. Would it be bad for me to work out? No, it's the opposite. You need to work out every day. Because I wanted to get a gym membership and go at night when I can't sleep. But I didn't know if that was acceptable with my issues. It would help there is blood absolutely pressure. no reason why you can't work out. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh... Because I got paid today. Listen, I'm going to be in so you do have hyperlipidemia too. Hyperlipidemia, okay. Um, I'm going to check your thyroid level because you're hyperthyroidism. Mm -hmm. She didn't check that when I went to the endocrinologist. Yeah. Her mother had got um, Graves' disease and had to lose her uh, thyroid. And grandmother. Yes. And great grandmother, I mean. Sorry. Eight generations. I don't think your grandmother did. Granny? I don't think she does. No. Geraldine dead, 100%. My kids both got diagnosed with ADHD. So we're just having a great time at my house. <laughs> In this crazy age, everybody is having too many issues. People don't know how to talk. Yeah, they are talking. They're is not sitting there. next to each other. They talk on message. Uh, it doesn't make <laughs> sense. They don't know how to express. I wish my husband was here. <laughs>
He wasn't a phone person. I think that's just him. Yes, he is. He watches anime. He's, yeah, that's your fault. He doesn't talk. That's your fault. <laughs> Now she has me I'm worried. I'm going to print out uh, all of this and give this to you before you go. You're going to check these document due to patients poorly controlled uh, diabetes type 1 with an A1C of 10.4, uh, which is quite concerning. Despite she being on an insulin pump, I'm going to check her BMP and A1C prior to her next clinic visit in six weeks period. Patient follows with endocrinologist Ashley House and her dose of her insulin through the pump was recently increased increased a few weeks ago period uh encourage heart healthy diabetic diet and monitoring her calorie intake uh period uh patient was also hypertensive i'm going to start on the sarcin 25 milligram and i'm going to check her bmp uh period she has um no renal failure based on her last labs but i'm going to check that as a follow-up period next is hyperlipidemia patient did have elevated ldl cholesterol based on her labs, which were done in December 2023 period. Um, she's at a high risk for continued um, hyperlipidemia uh, and atherosclerotic coronary artery disease or vascular disease period. Encourage heart healthy diet, exercise and weight loss period. We'll hold off on starting on statins. I'm going to repeat, I'm going to do her LD, uh, lipid panel prior to next clinic visit. Encourage patient to get her blood work done as a fasting level period. Autoimmune thyroiditis period. Patient is on presently on the thyroxine. 100 microgram daily. I'm going to check her TSH free T4. This could be contributing to her um, abnormal test results. Period. And the anxiety and depression, she's stable. Um, um, uh, period. However, she has not been compliant with her Wellbutrin. Period. Recommend resuming Wellbutrin, SR 100 milligram, uh, BID, and continued use power, PRN, 10 milligram. Period. Um, questions? Got me worried. She does it every day. <laughs> oh, Lord. You can play John if you want to send your heart. Okay. I think the last two times I've been here, she's made me. We've cried together. <laughs> <laughs>